Hey, welcome back to the command room. And as the video said, are we taking stock in our supplies and our survival gear and checking in and making sure that everything is in good working order? So, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles and I welcome you to the command center. We have just moved in here not too long ago, so I have a nice little room that I can uh, sit here and shoot my videos for you guys. Um, it's in the AC now, no longer in the garage, which is a world of difference. Instead of sitting here sweating to death, you know, I have AC. So, <clears throat> as we stated, you know, are you checking your supplies and, you know, going through your gear and stuff and checking your gear out and making sure that everything is good to go in case of an emergency situation. Now, I have talked about in several of my videos and stuff, having some type of a notebook, a journal, um, any of those type of things to make sure that, you know, you can keep a tally of what you have. And um, if you really wanted to get real down to basics, you could write down expiration dates on say food products and things of that nature. It's all on how far you really wanna go with this. Um, I don't think there's really a wrong way to do this as long as you are taking stock and you know what you have you know that your gear is good it doesn't need repair um, you don't have rips and tears in your tarps your tent um, your tent leaks your tarps leak um, you need to upgrade some products um, that is all part of maintaining your gear you want to make sure that when you're maintaining your gear, as you use your gear, if you notice something is wrong, take it out of your supplies, either your hiking, camping, bushcrafting, whatever. Take it out and keep it out somewhere where you can constantly see it and remember to either get it fixed or replace it before a situation arises and you need that piece of gear. Now, as far as your survival supplies and stuff, um, depending on where you live, you have different types of survival supplies. Well, I have done videos on this also. So if you're interested in some of the things that I've talked about in the past, go back and check out some of the videos. And, um, but just to touch base on that real quick, uh, with your survival supplies, as in your food and water, and your ways to purify food, your ways to cook, make sure that all those things are always either up to par, up in stock, you have plenty. Um, a lot of people, you use a rotating stock supplies so that you can, um, you know, you don't have to really worry about your dates too much but you probably do have some things that you would probably only use in an emergency situation. So you wanna keep an eye on those dates. <clears throat> and remember the date is just a best buy date to be sold. This is the biggest misconception out there. That's when the grocery store or whatever store you buy from, that the company that canned that product says by that date, they guarantee the freshness. Now, it'll still be good afterwards. I think probably the first thing to go would be anything with spaghetti sauce because of the acid. You wanna watch for bulging cans, rusting cans. If you store this stuff properly, you'll probably get a little bit longer life out of it. Fruit may be another one. But then when you get into your canned potatoes and green beans and veggies and stuff like that, um, they can last quite a long time after the best buy date. So remember that, that is just the best buy date that they guarantee the freshness, okay? I see a lot of comments out there on YouTube and everything else on my videos, on a lot of videos and everything, and that is something that's always asked or people are always talking about and that's the biggest misconception out there people don't understand they think when that day gets here they have to throw it in a trash can and you're throwing away your hard-earned money you won't want to do that so <clears throat> also when you're going through your your survival stuff as far as your food and your products like that you want to make sure that you have stuff you know that a lot of people just don't think about um, you want to make sure that you have either 
uh, plastic or paper cups, uh, paper plates, uh, paper utensils, because you don't want to have to keep having, if you're out of water, you know, you want your water so that you can drink. You don't want to have to use your water to clean dishes and everything else. If you store baby wipes, you can use those instead of taking a shower. Yes, a shower would be nice. I've done videos on how to get around some of those things and be ready for them. Um, but, you know, if you're limited on water, you need the water to intake as far as to drink and cook with, not to clean with and everything else. So remember that. And if you want to, you know, feel that you have to have, you know, extra water, you can go to Walmart, Kmart, um, online, um, Target. You can buy the, uh, back in the sporting goods section, they sell like the old jerry cans. They're not metal, they're plastic. They run you like 15, 20 bucks, and they're between five and seven gallons. And you could take a couple of those and use those for your uh, bathing and, you know, washing dishes or taking a sponge bath and stuff like that. If you just, you know, if you really wanted to do that, they don't really take up a lot of room. You fill them up before the, uh, say, like a hurricane in my situation. Um, that's another reason why you take and fill the bathtub up because then you have all that water that you can use to either bathe with, clean with, flush the toilet, so on and so forth. So I've done extensive videos on that. <clears throat> so you just want to make sure that you're checking your supplies, checking your gear, going through your gear, making sure that your gear is in good shape. Like I said, there's no rips, there's no tears, everything works, your blades are sharpened, um, all that type of stuff. And you want to be ready and prepared just in case an emergency situation arises. So, once again, my name is Charles, this is the Command Center, and this is also Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I thank you for watching, I thank you for everything that you guys have done for my channel, for all the likes, subscribes, I appreciate that, and until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.